Are you a man's man? Do you rip the filters off? Cause no man needs a tampon. Are you so manly, your job's considered essential? Have you never been caught trespassing because you respect another man's land? Well then have I got the truck for you at Rhino's Acres of Deals. Here at Rhino's Acres of Deals, we are proud to present to you this here beautiful 2005 Chevy 5500 that there is a Kodiak. Now you may notice, very rare, very rare in the Kodiak. This here is a 4x4. You may notice a little bit of dirt on the tires. We're on a dirt road here today. This thing will get you anywhere you need to go. Now this here ain't your regular old beat up work truck. We do not operate like that here at Rhino's Acres of Deals. This beauty was built from the ground up to not only be a work truck, but a play truck and a show truck. This here beast has got a 6.6 .6 Duramax in her with 197,000 miles on it. Now you may be saying, Rhino, that there's a lot of miles. Well, don't worry. She got a brand new heart put in her at about 150,000. She's only got 40,000 miles on it. And we didn't just take it to some run of the mill old side of the road shop, put an old used engine in it like most construction trucks you would see have. This here has a full factory Chevrolet engine put in at the Chevy dealer. Hey, I heard, now don't take this for you, I ain't gonna say we are gonna say for sure, but I heard Jimmy Johnson himself may have installed it. Now on this rig here, every piece of plastic that we could touch was touching hydro dipped in black carbon fiber. Got a little bit of a little bit of sun fade there, but very easy to bring right on back to life. Now, if you got a rig this big, you gotta put the big rig looks on it. We got 22.5 Alcoa wheels here on some Toyo tires, 295, 75R 22.5. No cheap Chinese bomb tires. Now, obviously, being a medium duty truck, this here thing needs to be built to haul. Coupled with the leaf sprung suspension, we've got custom Fox Reservoir shocks. Now, this here is your chance to own an absolute one of a kind, never can be bought again Kodiak. Now, you may be saying, Rhino, Chevy has re released least the 4500 the 5500 all the medium duty truck line in 2019 well to that we say I ain't like this one now the one thing you may notice about the 05s and this generation of Kodiak is this here ain't no pickup truck cab and we'll show you the inside in a minute you're gonna see the benefits of it this here cab was actually derived off of the Chevrolet van now you may be saying Rhino a van that ain't very big rig but we all know a lot of fun stuff happens in a van now just below the cab we've got these beautiful custom diamond plate steps that were built the battery box is relocated up underneath because nobody wants to see your big old battery box it's like hanging a def take off the trial working our way back here we've got this beautiful custom diamond plated flatbed 12 foot flatbed i should say built for work built for play it's got multiple tie down hooks up front to tie down your dirt bike as well as many a hook underneath right here to tie down your load whatever you may be taking she's got plenty of space to store all your tools you've got upper and lower boxes on both sides with locks now if you're coming from a pickup truck and you're used to being able to just throw stuff in the bed of your truck and it not fall out don't worry we got sideboards all the way around to keep all of your stuff well contained now you may be saying rhino where is the exhaust coming out of that thing well don't you worry back in the good old days there weren't no big old emissions missiles on these trucks. So we've got the exhaust dump right there up underneath the cab. And it's got a muffler on it to keep your neighbors happy. Or it could just fall off if that's what you really want to hear. We've got us a beautiful light array back here. We've got running lights. We've got brake lights. We've got turn signals. We've got the amber lights for the job site. We've got some big, bright white LED lights for reverse lights. You may notice up here we've got a backup camera. That there so you don't hit nothing. Or if you're sick of your significant other after all this quarantine, it makes it really nice to aim for them. Not only will this thing haul pallets of block to your job site, but it will also haul your dirt bikes on the weekend. This truck was built to tow. Now it may be evident from the outside of this here truck that she is an absolute workhorse, but don't let that fool you to the comforts that are inside. Come on in, we'll take you on inside. Now this here is a one owner, never been smoked in, and we ain't gonna start now. Truck, which as you can see from the interior of this thing, no expense was spared on making sure she was comfortable. You may notice, beautiful carbon fiber hydro dip dash, every single vent surround, every single piece in the door. She's got a beautiful Kenwood Excellion double din screen in the dash. Quite the array of buttons with room to add more auxiliary switches if need be. You may be saying, Rhino, you sure do look comfortable in that captain's chair. Well, of course. These here are air ride seats, just like in the big rigs to make sure you have a nice comfortable ride. Whether you're doing long runs down the interstate, taking your dirt bike to the track. She's got the Banks IQ monitoring system to keep track of all your gauges and it'll even do some zero to 60 times if you want to drag race this bad boy. Now this ain't your grandpappy's work truck. Everything in this truck is power. And speaking of comfort, you ain't seen nothing yet. 
let me take you to the back of the rig. Have you ever been in the material yard and you had to wait, there were about 15 trucks in front of you, they were loading up and you're like, man, I wish I could go in the back of my truck and take a nap on the fold out back seat into a bed. Me neither, but this here truck will enable that if you ever feel like you need to go take a nap, you're on the road, you're hauling your race car, whatever it may be. The rear seat here folds down into a nice comfortable bed. Now we didn't skimp on the entertainment system because any good rig has to have a party in it. We've got two 12 inch subwoofers behind the seats as well as a couple amps up underneath there. Then coming up top, don't worry, we've also got the DVD player. This here was the biggest of its time. I believe it's a 12 inch diagonal, 10 inch diagonal screen. Don't really quote me on that one. Now in saying everything's power, we ain't joking. This here is the array of power switches for the rear power down seat into the bed. And of course, every single piece of plastic that we could touch was hydro dip carbon fiber. Now we did mention party earlier. If you want to have a party, you can't have a party without plenty of cup holders. And this truck does not disappoint. There are cup holders everywhere, every single door as well as up front. You guys ready for this? Listen to that kitten purr, that there is a fresh Duramax engine if I've ever heard one. Now here's where the true workhorse of this truck shows. We're gonna come over here, we're gonna flip the PTO switch. You may hear it switch over. Hear that? The PTO is on. Now how much can this truck haul? It all depends on how much you want to put in it. And when you're ready to dump that load, you take a nice switch over here, and all you do, hit the button, and you got a full dump bed. Now I ain't gonna take it all the way up. We got stuff in the bed that I don't wanna leave here on the side of the road. We don't believe in littering. Now you may be thinking, and it's totally understandable. Rhino, that there is way too much truck for me. How am I supposed to drive that? Well, let me show you. Now we don't only sell trucks here, Rhino's Acres of Deals. We've got plenty of beautiful used lumber, as well as my personal favorite, pleasure craft boats. So that there boat says owner, perfection in hooks on it. That's right, that there is a genuine owner, one owner. Could be yours. Now, if you can drive yourself a regular old pick em up truck, this here baby will be an absolute joy to drive. You may notice it don't have no big old steering wheel. Don't need it, turns on a dime. In fact, it turns better than most standard size pickup trucks. Don't let the length fool you. I know some of y'all have said that before, but this thing is very easily maneuverable and I can guarantee you she do not feel as wide as she looked. It's got as much acceleration as you could want, whether you're towing or not. Listen to all that horsepower and torque. Need to get somebody out your way? Don't worry. She's got onboard air and a semi horn. We all know in today's day and age, Chevrolet don't screwed up the mirrors in their trucks. Back in 05, no issue. They put these big old beautiful high visibility mirrors. Now we don't beat around the bush here at Rhino's Acres of Deals. Y'all are wondering what is the price of this beauty right here? And let me tell you, it ain't a million dollars like you think ain't even a hundred grand. This here beauty can be yours for the asking price of $35,000. All right, I think my days of uh, being a used car salesman are over. Now I will say there is something that a lot of people have been wanting me to do on the channel and uh, this is gonna make a lot of you guys happy right now. It's also gonna make the person behind the camera real happy right now because she, uh, she's been wanting this for a while but I think it's time we shave the beard off. Yeah, she's like holding in her screams right now. I figure with the Rona going around and not being able to seal your face with a mask with a beard, let's just chop it off. I don't know if you see the camera shaking right now. <laughs> there you go, you can hear it. We don't want to be shaving it off here in my nice jacket. Now it's funny to me how many dudes get wrapped up in like another dude's appearance, but man, there are people that just despise what I call my beard. Some people say this is not a beard, but it is what it is. Trust me, I get just as much flack for having long hair and all that doesn't really phase me. But I think we've had a long enough go at it and uh, I'm kind of nervous as to, honestly as to what I want to look like. Is even though like it's probably gonna look better or it may look better, it's just like still getting used to it. So uh, wish me luck. By the way, there's a nice picture of Gunner. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that in the house. So she's up making sure that the bathroom is presentable here. Uh, I'm nervous guys. I don't know if I really want to do this. <laughs> I have a feeling it's gonna be one of those instant regret things and I'm not like facially hair blessed to where it's just gonna grow back in a week. Uh, I don't know how long this has been growing, but <laughs> probably a pathetic amount of time. So we had to pause for a minute there. I don't think my body wants me to do this. <laughs> I just had a bloody nose for like 20 minutes. So if at any point in this time you just see blood start pouring down my face, I swear, just bloody nose. I didn't like cut anything off. So one of the reasons I even like started growing any type of facial hair again, I know like I'm not facially hair blessed was like even to this day uh, obviously before growing this like i still get carded when i buy like spray paint or lottery tickets like it, it gets old so uh, some type of facial hair at least like ages me a little bit i'm probably gonna look like i'm 14 by the time this is done i don't know what do you think guys maybe we just like just trim it up just a little bit maybe like some chops and we just leave the mustache I don't, I don't really know look this is how bad she wants it gone she made sure she plugged in the razor so it's got plenty of battery she even brought over some shaving cream i don't know if we're going that far 
I don't have one of those fancy beard bibs, so let's uh, try and contain some of the hair here so it doesn't go down the drain. Right, we got a full brand new kit. Yup, never even used, clearly. I don't really know guys, I'm kind of nervous about like, going all the way down. I feel like we should start with a guard. See where that takes us. I don't really want to do this, to be honest. I don't know if I need the eyebrow one. Two millimeter, one millimeter. Let's, let's try a two millimeter, see what happens. No going back when we do this. All right, maybe we should try like a, Maybe like a three millimeter. That's the one that's smaller. Oh, there's so many. Body, three millimeter. Why is this one green for your body? Seven millimeter. Now we're getting somewhere. We'll start there. <laughs> All right, okay. I'm just gonna go for the ugliest thing I can make with this. Be like all kinds of pimples up underneath here that I didn't even know I had. It's seven millimeters, not that long. I've always really envied Charlie Star and Blackberry Smoke. He has like super long chops that like tie into his hair. And you can't really tell where one starts and one stops. I think we should go for that look. Now you may be wondering why am I watching a man shave? Mm -hmm. Probably wondering the same thing. All right, guys, we're done. How's it look? That's a no. <laughs> You sure? Should we just go like super chopped? Look a little thin up top. I don't know, I don't know if that's gonna work. Ah, we're getting some. Looking good, looking good. I think that's gray hair. My skin just had some light in a long time. Brushing out a little bit. All right. What do you guys think? We rock that? <laughs> Still now? I guess we're gonna set them all over. That's what I really look like, huh? I haven't seen this guy in a while. <sighs> Can we get approval on the length? Do we gotta go shorter? No, <laughs> what? This is like almost completely gone. What do you mean we gotta go shorter? Can I leave the mustache? No? My bloody mustache from my bloody nose earlier, no leaving the mustache? Are you sure? You really don't? You want the mustache. You don't want the mustache. Uh, can I just trim the mustache up? Let's try that. Then we need to clean it up a little bit. All right, I think we're good enough. That's done. I quit. Oh, gross. I'm gonna save this for the next time I decide to grow it out. Have a little, little spots to glue on there. Jeez. I don't even recognize this guy anymore. Yeah, I couldn't I couldn't take it all the way, guys. This is about as short as I wanted to go. And trust me, I know I need some cleaning up after I shower and all the hair stand back up and I can see what needs to be trimmed. We'll go in and clean everything up. But I'm also sorry you guys had to watch that. I'm sure it is very strange watching another man shave. Now you know, it's just one of those sacrifices we have to make in today's day and age with all the craziness going on. So hopefully you guys can uh, get used to this look because uh, I know it's going to take me definitely a, uh, a minute. Oh, and I know this was asked a couple times in a previous video. Um, this hat that I'm wearing right now, which is a work for it hat, is not for sale it's just a uh one of the little sample prototypes that we had made earlier when we were working on finalizing the patch hat design which is back in stock in limited quantities so if you guys want our leather patch hats make sure you head on over to work for it apparel there will be a link maybe somewhere on the screen if not there's always one down in the description of every single video that i do also we are serious about uh selling the kodiak my dad wants to get back into a pickup truck so for those of you you know with serious offers my email is also down in the description dmaxrhino at hotmail.com uh shoot me an offer you know let's see what we can figure out and uh, let's get the kodiak sold for him it is a great truck i want to see it go to a great home um, we've had a lot of memories in it that was probably one of the first trucks uh, that I had ever driven. That is what he hauled all of us to every time we had a dirt bike race or something like that. We always piled all the buddies up in there and uh, we headed to the track. A lot of good memories in that truck again, so I would like to see it go to a good home. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have not subscribed already, please click the subscribe button now that we do not miss out on any future content. Don't forget to give this video a like, okay, a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out workfortapparel.com because if there's anything you want in this life, you gotta be willing to work for it. You guys are the best, I'm out. Damn. Uh. Yeah.